uh, loves from Ewist, we now move on to music and lifestyle. So we want to have a taste of the fresh music in the industry as well as having a good conversation with some of the artists. Now we have our first guest with us. So we will be talking to Benson, Mr. Benson Munyao. So Benson, Karibu, introduce yourselves, tell us what you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much indeed for inviting me, Nwai254. I'm very much impressed to be with you. you. Yes. You know, we were talking with you and you told me you were last here at KBC, you know, KBC Corporation in 1995. Oh. And I'm thinking, where was I in 1995, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How many years? Several, but several indeed. Yeah. Yes. So it feels good to be back. Yeah, I am very, very, very happy to be here again. Uh -huh. Looks after different. This How's year. the place? You know, ah. decades later. A lot of <laughs> changes, a lot of stations, mm. and we thank God because of you. Okay. Yes. Uh, we're glad to have you. So now tell us what what you do. Who's Mr. Benson? Oh, Benson is me here. Mm. Uh, my real names are Benson Mio Munyao. I'm born again, evangelist. Come from Makweni County. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is where I grew up all those years, mm -hmm. 50 years now, not wow. very young. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, thank God because of his grace. Yeah. I've walked all along that period serving the Lord. And I thank God because of his grace and mercies and protection upon my life. Mm -hmm. So that is where I come from. That is where I grew. That is where my music Began. A journey began in Mitugu Village, mm -hmm. Makweni County. Mitugu Village, Makweni County, that yes. is where the story begins. That is where it began. Okay, so did you start music, uh, take music from early age until now, or did you do something in between? Oh, I began music while I was in primary school. Mm -hmm. I used, uh, in weekends, I go for choir practices. Uh, there were some pastors who used to teach us how to play guitar, how to compose songs. And I gained the interest of being a musician from there. Mm -hmm. We used to compose some songs. We teach the choir and we sing in the church. They are happy and we are also happy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. When you compose a song and you find people are singing your song. It. Ah, it is it amazing. <laughs> true, true. So your music was born in church. True, it was born in church. So could we say that is why you went for gospel or it is, a, it is more than that? Actually, that is why I went for gospel because in the, those pastors who were mentoring us, they taught us the ways of being and working for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is where I grew and uh, I gained the confidence of serving the Lord mm -hmm. in a church there, AIC, African Inland Church, actually, Metuvu. That is where I started. Okay. Yes. So would you say, what is, uh, why is gospel important? Or, you know, people sing gospel music, but what do you make of it? Is all of it uh, sung in the right way? Or are there people that are singing with different agendas? Um, music, one, there's a friend of mine, Bishop Mondo, who normally tell me, music without anointing. If you're in the gospel music, it's not music. Music that can touch the hearts of people. Mm -hmm. Music that can draw the attention of God. Music that you can worship God. Mm -hmm. God, our creator, our maker, who is in heaven. Yeah. And you touch his heart that he can come and do miracles. That is the music that I am in. The music that can touch souls. The music that can evangelize to someone. That is the music that God wants us. The gospel. I'm mm -hmm. speaking on the gospel music. Yeah. God wants us to minister songs that can touch souls. Because I think, my sister, you can see any church before it starts, there is praise and worship. Yeah. There are presentation of choir or individual artists. Mm -hmm. In any celebration in Kenya, you will find musicians there. Why? Because music has its value in any congregation or in our lives, day to day. Mm -hmm. You'll find people grazing there. They have small radios with USB, yeah. music in playing, <laughs> but they are grazing keto, hmm. so the music value is of music. At the center of our lives, we, rev it, we revolve around music, or music revolves around us, I'm not sure which one. True. So you, you basically what you're saying oh. is that uh, if you're singing gospel mu music, it should be impactful, something that will bring people closer to God, and yes. 
will touch the heart of God. So this is the your motivation when you sing gospel music. What or what is your motive when you sing when you go and release a song? What do you aim that it achieves? Uh, first, uh, like the current uh, song release that I released with Anastasia Mkabwa, mm -hmm. it was after people had passed a lot of challenging challenges during COVID. And after the last phase of last year is when I got this song. God was speaking to me. Yes, we have passed a lot of things. But mm -hmm. God has still have good, has good plans for us. In Jeremiah 29, 11. Mm -hmm. One, my music anomalies get it from the verses in the Bible. Because it is a gospel music. And when you listen to that song, Unaniwazia Mema, you'll hear that it is purely from Jeremiah 29, 11. After the... Uh, children of G uh, Israel who were in Jerusalem. We are held captive in Babylon during the time of Nebuchadnezzar. Mm -hmm. And then God comes and tells them in Jeremiah 9, 10, mm -hmm. wow, after 70 years, I will visit you and give you good words of hope. Yeah. And then in verse 11, he says, uh, I have, I know, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans not to do you evil, but plans to do you good and to give you an expectant hand. Mm -hmm. Then I said, oh, Kumbi, God has good plans for us. After all what we have undergone, mm -hmm. God is still having good thoughts for us. One, in music, first, it blesses me first before I bless others. Before uh -huh. I release, I normally do it's that practice, sing, uh -huh. and also feel, ah, this, this song is touching. This song is from the Bible. This word is, these words from the Bible are encouraging me. Then I start making tune out of that verse. Mm -hmm. Then out of that, it blesses people. Wow. Since I released that song, men have been blessed. Unaniwazia mema. Oh, God has good plans. Even you, uh -huh. even you listeners, God is well, having good plans for you. So it's a song to give hope that God still has good yes. plans for us. Amen. Would you sing for us that, a chorus of that song or any verse? Yeah. Yeah, please do. I can. Yeah. Mungu mwema. Katika maisha yangu, mungu mwema, katika maisha yangu. Mungu mwema, katika maisha yangu, unampango mwema, juu ya maisha yangu. Unampango mwema, juu ya maisha yangu. Mwema, unaniwazia mema, unaniwazia e, unaniwazia mema. Unaniwazia e, zaidi ya yote. Unaniwazia e, zaidi ya yote. Unaniwazia mema. Ah. Wow, wow, Amen. what a great song. Yes. Ah, amazing. So that's how you get all of your songs through uh, when you go, when you do your study and you read the Bible, that's the only way you get your inspiration or you have other ways in which you get inspirations to do songs? Oh, sometimes also I listen to other artists. I hear how they are composing songs that touch people. Sometimes I see, I can go in church, listen to messages from pastors, mm -hmm. and then uh, I, I see, oh, mm -hmm. surely I need to compose such a song to reach people to reach people through the yeah. music. And also, uh, sometimes is, uh, I'm inspired because when I release songs, people call me and tell me, wow, we have seen your song in YouTube, we have seen your song like now in K KBC, Y254, mm -hmm. and we have been blessed. Oh, that gives me um, a mileage, and to know that people are being interested Be in mm -hmm. music. So that motivates me, and I still venture more Into to release good song to touch people mm -hmm. wow wow yes. so what is that one co is there any particular comment that just strikes out that you got from your audience someone who listened to your song and you just knew that this was from god yeah after i released this song and another song the fifth album that said uh, mm -hmm. one of the songs was nema ya mungu in mm -hmm. my fifth album that i released in 2019 yeah and uh, people clearly were saying, oh, clearly the grace of God is sufficient. We are saved by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. We live by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Whenever we walk in the morning, we are under the grace of God. 
And then people were saying, really, yeah. true, this song is touching because we are living by the grace of God, not by might, not by our power, mm -hmm. not by what we do, but by the grace of God. So when people were commenting that in YouTube, in Facebook, I used to say, oh, Kumbi God is blessing people. It is not about me. Uh -huh. I don't brag. I only see GPG at Kujinwa ma Kujigamba pana. And how I do you say glory to God? And how do you do? Do you ensure that you do that? That you don't take the glory for yourself and you leave it to God. Wow! I normally tell. Uh, I normally control myself very much because mm -hmm. once you start pride, God always de discourages the pride. Mm -hmm. He says once you humble yourself, He will lift you. And those who lift themselves, he, 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 he shuns them Humble. down. Uh, uh. It's the opposite. So I normally tell God to give me a mm -hmm. humble heart. When people are saying, oh, we are blessed, we are blessed to say, oh, glory to God. Wow. Yes. Okay, okay. That is I normally, what I That's normally That's what you people. normally do. Yes. All right. Uh. So now, what is one song that has really blessed you in your, in your life, that has spoken to you, maybe after you've released it and... You are going through something and your song came in handy to encourage you. Uh, I am referring to my latest release, Una Niwazia Mema, the one I've just sung now. Mm. Because we were after a very difficult period. And uh, I remember when the schools were closed, my son came in the house and told me, Oh, Dad, if it's the world is ending, let it end. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot wait to see all this suffering. Uh -huh. I told him no. Even in the early times when you read in the Bible, there were struggles, there were sicknesses, but God protected his people. See, truly, yes. Told him, just calm down. God is in control. So I watched many people, they were discouraged, people sitting in the houses, just not going to church, listening, praying together. Families, some families came very close. They used to pray together. Me, we used to, play to pray together with my family. So after... Uh, I said, no, I have to, what ab about these, these uh, after all these mm -hmm. sufferings, God has protected me. I've never been admitted, nor my family. But now I have seen God take us through that period. Children are now back to school. Can see people are going back to, 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 to churches. It, is not, it was not a song about me alone, but the entire country. Mm -hmm. that God has good for plans for us as a nation. So that song I released after I had seen what we had gone through, masks everywhere that protected us. We thank God for the initiative of, the, of our government and uh, also protection in the, um, in the mm -hmm. transport industry. Yeah. And people were, wow, where are we heading? But now God gave me those words that he has good plans for me and you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so, so that is amazing. Mm -hmm. And now, do you have a back... I know, I understand that you have a background in military. So did, has that any, played any role in inspiring your music or anything that, that you currently do now? Uh, yeah, it has really. Because uh, when I'm serving there, God speaks to me. Mm -hmm. He speaks also through the servants of God. Some of the messages I get when our chaplains are preaching, I get a message there and I go and compose songs. I know it will bless our, my fellow colleagues. So uh, some songs I get from reading the Bible. Others I get when our pastors are ministering. Okay. So I can say I have also mm. released several songs there. I, yeah. also, I have also released some songs with, um, uh, with some choirs there in, uh, in our workplace. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were very blessed, I can yeah. say. They oh. were very blessed. All right. And tell us, as, as we come to a close, yes. about your music growth. Because you started music uh, back in the days, 1990s, right? Mm -hmm. So how, did you, how do you ensure that you keep growing musically? One thing... I make sure that I read the word of God. Two, I normally interact with musicians. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, the, the, there's a saying that say, birds of the same feathers flock together. True. So I normally make, my, uh, make sure that I interact with the musicians, those who started uh, producing songs earlier than me, and uh, those who are releasing, uh, those who have made hit songs, 
I normally make sure I mm-hmm. interact with them, know where they are moving. I normally visit studios mm-hmm. that are mostly known. I visit them and know what they are doing, what they have current, uh-huh. the programs they have for recording. And also guitarists, people who play guitarists, I normally interact them, know what they are thinking about music yeah. today. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've not just kept silent and said, I've just been interacting with the people in the music industries, and especially those who are singing the true gospel. Amazing. They are knowing that music. Okay. Yes. And wh- well, what would you say is the place of mentors in anyone's journey, especially in the music career? Pardon? The place of mentors in the music career. Uh, I can say um, I've been in Kasanga Music Shop. Mm-hmm. I've been in, the, in his studio. I've sat with him. He has encouraged me. He has taught me a lot. I've also had an encounter with the Kamanga studio mm. and my latest release with Twiga studio. Yeah. And uh, he has uh, motivated me very much because he is a music- musician himself and he's a minister of the word of God. And when you are with him, you are in the same frequency. He speaks heavenly things. He speaks musically. Mm-hmm. And I tell you, he's a good mender. Okay. So I've been interacting with the people in the music industry, mm-hmm. in s- both in, uh, in studios, in uh, shops, and even we meet in other places and share. We have a cup of tea uh-huh. and share about them. And also, not forget you, mm-hmm. those in the media. Uh-huh. I also meet and share, know how music is being marketed, how in YouTube, in such interviews like this one. So it is all around. Uh-huh. You cannot grow without a mentor. Uh, a, a mentor. Okay. Yes. So they have a very imp- uh, important place. Yes. Uh, okay. So now uh, you want to give your shout outs. But first, do we have anything we need to look out for? Any music coming up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Currently, I'm working on my sixth album. Uh, by God's grace, I believe in uh, around August. Mm-hmm. I'll be releasing my sixth album. That is why I've done a lot of songs, prepared, written, yeah. but I have to check its impact into the lives of people. Wow. Yeah. Okay, amazing. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you. It was glad having you. So you can give your shout outs on this camera to your people and tell our guys where they can get your music. Yeah, you can get my music in YouTube, in Facebook. Ben Mills, uh, when you go to YouTube, search Evangelist Benson Mwil Munyao, you'll get my songs there. In Facebook, you'll get my songs there, and you will be blessed. Mm-hmm. Any yes. shout outs you want to give us? Ah, I just say, let us have faith in God. Uh. Let us trust in this God. We might have been passing a lot of challenges in our lives. But if, the, if our God visited the people of Jerusalem after 70 years and he gave them hope, even you, it is not late. God can visit you and change your life if you believe and trust in him. Our reference verse is Jeremiah 29, 11. God has good plans for us. He has good thoughts. He is ready to give us an expected hand. Mm-hmm. Let us trust upon this God and he's going to do great things unto our lives. Let us not despair. Yes. Don't you despair. Don't you despair. Yes. Thank you again for coming on board. We want to hear your song. We'll close with your song. So you have heard from Ben Munyao. I hope if you're feeling down, you have been encouraged by this. I'm at Peleka Church Kidogo, but it's good encouragement. So let us hear from him, your song. Take it away. <laughs> 